All right, another quick little video on some maintenance that I'm gonna do on the truck today. Well, it's actually on the trailer. It's a 2006 Great Dane. Um, woke up two mornings ago, couldn't release the brakes. It was cold out, so I figured, eh, like everybody, think you got some, um, you know, ice frozen up or something in there blocking it off. So put some of that stuff down there and nothing and started playing with it. And then all of a sudden it, it released. And I said, hmm, that's odd, but maybe I, you know, I did put the alcohol down in there, and I said, well, maybe. Set the brakes that night, wanted to move the truck to a different parking spot, couldn't move it. Got an early appointment the next morning, so I caged the brakes, um, which there's videos on YouTube on how to do that. Um, that is definitely, you're not supposed to be driving the trailer around with caged brakes, obviously, because um, you'd have four brakes not operational. Um, or very little braking release the emergency springs will not be operational. So um, It'd be only your tractor braking then so be warned if you get caught doing that out on the road You will be put out of service. It's big points on your authority for the CVSA So it's only to move it down to a shop, you know, and you're still risking it even then to be honest with you But eh, life's a risk um, This thing's pretty simple um, on mine, this this one this was a Silco part one one zero five hundred. Um, these four, there's four lines here. Those go to the emergency side on every brake can, and that's what releases when you push in the red knob. That's what releases it. You know. Now make sure when you push, take that red hose off the tractor and press in the red knob, and make sure that you're actually hearing air go to the trailer. To you know. If you're hearing air go to the trailer, then it's most likely going to be this valve right here. There's only two or three valves underneath that trailer. The ABS one for the service side of the brakes when you push the pedal. This one's the supply to, um, um, you know, release the spring brakes. On this trailer, it actually pumps up the airbags too. It runs through this one to pump up the airbags. So when you pull the brakes, you, you steadily lose air. Um, this side right here is screwed into the um, air tank and the valve for the service brakes with the ABS stuff on there screwed into the air tank also. Um, um, I think this one right here is the one that uh, tell is the signal line that so when you press in the red line it opens it up um, to release and I'm pretty for sure this one right here um, another another red line would be going into that one to constantly supply air even um, even if the red brake is a set so you're still supplying air to the trailer to pump up the airbags and stuff like that and to fill up the tank but um, it not until you hit the red button in I think it sends it to this one right here I think that's the signal one it doesn't say on there but I'm gonna guess that's what it is so so there's only six lines going in it. Then of course at the bottom you got an exhaust. Um, and that's, you know, um, if you hear a bunch of air leaking out of that, it's a good sign that it's um, going bad too. Constant air. That's what it was doing the other morning. Um, so there you go. Um, I'm going to do this today because I don't want to take it into a shop. And it, but it's 20 degrees outside and windy. And hopefully I can find a place with no snow. And hopefully everything loosens up. Usually all these airlines in the past when I've done these, these airlines usually loosen up pretty good. Um, what I always suggest is don't take each one off separately. Take your wrench and break each one loose just a little bit so that you know, you know, you don't want to take four of them off and then, then find out you can't get the fifth one off or something like that. Um, but usually all these come off pretty easy. I sprayed PB Blaster on it yesterday. The valve did start working again, so I didn't have to, I could uncage the brakes. Um, but it's going to happen again. Um, this one is the one that where the whole thing screws in to the air tank. This is the one that you got to be a little careful about because um, if you break something there or a fitting, you could find yourself dead in the water. I hate doing this kind of stuff at a truck stop. Um, but I guess if I have to, I'm going to, you know, so good luck guys. All right, um, got all my tools out underneath the trailer. Uh -oh. And 
Here's the valve. I've already checked to make sure that they're all a little loose and none of them are stuck, so I think we'll be okay to go ahead and take them all off and uh, replace it. Found a truck stop with some dry concrete. And it's sunny out, but it is 20 degrees, so um, that's it. Uh, those thing is dump your air out before you take that valve off or you're going to have a surprise. And take some pictures with all those lines so you can go back and look. Alright, make sure you uh, switch all the fittings from the old one to the new one. I like to do this. It creates a vice while you're out on the road. Um, real simple. You know, don't crush it with the landing gear, but it ain't going nowhere. And make sure you use your uh, pipe thread. So there it is, um, this one was a Meritor, uh, using the same 110500, but Silco made it also, and the Bendix number was that one right there, 065438, if you need to cross-reference anything, um, but that did the trick. Now, as soon as I push the red... Uh, trailer release and it's instantly released before it was always dragging 10 or 15 seconds so you know what if yours is taking a while to after you replace it if it was taking 10 seconds 15 seconds 20 seconds before you could roll off that valve is probably starting to get sticky and I wish I had listened to my my gut saying check that out instead of just rolling with it for a year because it would have been much easier to change it in Florida in my yard on my own time than doing it up here in 20 degree weather with you know and 20 mile an hour winds. It's pretty brutal out there. So hopefully this helps somebody. Good luck guys.